The D2L for this course is organized so that all of the information that I will be handing out to students will be available under content. On the left side of the page, the course is organized into a series of modules or folders. Clicking on a module will give a brief summary of that module's focus a list of the assigned readings and sources of information that you should be learning for that unit, a list of all of the assignments that are due by the end of the unit, and a list of assignments that you should be working on that will be due in the future units. All assignments, all units, also have a date range for when they will be open and when they close. In general, assignments for a unit will be due before midnight on the last day that the unit is open. The exception to this are the discussions and forum posts that you will be doing. They will be available for the entirety of the week that they are due, but you will also need to post your initial answer by the middle of the week with all of your replies due by the end of the week. We will take a look at the discussions in just a moment. I suggest that you print out the checklists of items to do and give yourself your own personal due dates of when you want each done. The various assignments generally have a link underneath. Clicking on the link will take you to a document preview that will explain more about the assignment. You can generally download these so that you have your own copy that will be viewable when your internet is out. Some assignments, such as the scavenger hunt, will need to be printed out and filled out by hand. You can't edit the documents as you see them in the document preview. You will have to download and then modify the file on your own computer. Keep in mind that when it comes to submitting, which we will get to in a moment, all assignments will generally be submitted as a single PDF, even though this particular assignment will be downloaded as a .x, a .docx, sorry. When you save your finished file, you'll need to convert it to a PDF. Other assignments, such as the Smarter Measure Assessment, may be a quiz or series of questions that you take through the D2L interface itself. I can't give you instructions on this since the instruction, the instructor preview looks different than the student preview. With your discussions, it's my suggestion that you finish reading the chapters or the unit before you start your discussions. But if you click on a forum link, it will bring you to the forum, which is the question. If you start a new thread, your initial thread must answer the question, and that will be due by the middle of the week for which the forum is assigned. After threads have been posted, you'll see a list of all the replies that have been posted by your classmates. Before the end of the week, you'll need to click on those threads and give several replies to your other students. The replies can be to one student multiple times or they can be spread out to multiple students in multiple threads as long as they are within the same forum or topic. You can also ask you can also access your discussions 
by going to Collaboration and Discussions. The specific instructions and grading criteria for all of your discussion posts are listed here. Keep in mind that your discussion posts must meet a minimum length for your initial posts and replies. I do give partial credit. If you only have one reply for a topic, then you will get two points instead of six points when you have all three. Also keep in mind that though I don't grade factual accuracy in your replies, your replies should still be on topic. I don't like reading replies that are simply, I agree and here is why I agree. Make sure that you add to the discussion by asking questions, providing feedback, critiques, comments, and examples of your own. There are some assignments which you'll be able to see throughout the semester, but again, will only be available for a set amount of time. All of your tests and quizzes will be available for at least a week, and you can take that quiz anytime within the set availability. Keep in mind, though, that if you start a quiz with only a few minutes before the deadline, then the quiz will stop at the deadline and you might not have time to finish it. In addition to the link to the quizzes that's available in content, you can access quizzes under course activities and then quizzes. This also has a list of all quizzes that will be taken throughout the semester along with the day that those tests are available. Keep in mind that your Unit 4 quiz is your midterm, and it requires that you go to a testing center, and your final exam also requires that you go to a testing center. These two quizzes are password locked and can only be opened by the LSC staff that work in the testing centers. For your other assignments that are listed, once you have completed them by downloading the document and modifying it as needed, you can turn your assignments in under Course Activities Assignments, then clicking on the particular assignment that you want to submit. And I apologize, it's a different view for the student. So course activities, assignments, submitting the campus resource, and then you can add a file from your computer and then upload and find the file on your own machine. Most of the assignments that you turn into me must will be submitted as a PDF, and I want to have the files a single PDF. For example, in Unit 3, when you work on your financial literacy activity, you'll complete two out of these ten that are listed but you'll combine them into one PDF file. That means that you'll need to copy and paste Word documents together, or if you print them out and fill them out by hand, you'll need to scan them into a single PDF file. If you need help converting documents, you can go to any LSC computer lab and have the attending technician or someone from the Office of Technology Services show you how the scanners work or how to convert files. You can also use Google and find a number of online tools that will let you upload documents and convert it from one file format into another. 
When you do that, always keep in mind that you should open the finished format and make sure that it is still legible. I've had students convert documents into PDF, but the software they used misaligned it so that only half of the page was viewable at a time. In the event that that happens, I do not give leeway to students. Once a file is submitted, you can view your file submissions by going to Course Activity Assignments and then clicking on the link that will be available once you have submitted it. All of the assignments will allow you to upload multiple documents. Keep in mind that the file is uploaded as one single PDF document, but if you find the, uh, that you uploaded the wrong document and need to resubmit, or you made changes and want to resubmit and have me grade the corrected version, you can upload the multiple documents or resubmissions. I will grade the latest document, the last one that you uploaded. When you're submitting your file, you can use the con comment section to leave me a note and let me know that you've modified a document or that one is more correct than a previous version. With that said, if you have any other questions or concerns, you can generally go to Start Here, Audio D2L, or Audio General, and there will be listed a number of videos and walkthroughs like the one that you're watching now. If your question is not answered in these areas, send me an email and I will either reply or record an audio message explaining the particulars of what you're having trouble with.